didn't see you there. Well, now that I have your attention, maybe I'll teach you how to make this real cool lion head statue. What's up fellow Vikings, Ghost here with another build tutorial video. In this one I'm going to give you a step-by-step -step guide on how to build a lion head statue. This particular statue was a request from a subscriber. This person wanted me to build him a lion statue, but after building just the head, I realized how big it was going to be, so I decided to just stop at the head. So, without further ado, here's the lion head statue how-to video. Enjoy. All right, first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is place down a two meter post with a one meter on top. Stack another two meter on top of that, and then finally another one meter post on top of that. Then switch over to one meter beams. Start at the first intersection and place two. From there, you're gonna to wanna to rotate one meter beams off the end with one rotation, and then follow another one with two rotations. Then you're gonna place one meter beams off the intersection of the horizontal, like you're seeing here. This next part is real tricky. Trying to get these 26 degree cross members to snap in these locations is difficult. As you can see, I had a lot of difficulty, but this is the shape that you're looking to get at the end of that. Switch to 45 degree beams and snap them to the bottom corners of the 26 degree cross members, rotating them in towards the front of the statue so that the ends intersect and create the pattern that you're seeing here. After you've done that, destroy these two angled pieces as well as the piece sticking out the front of the chin. Select 26 degree beams and snap them to the top corners of the cross members, angling them in to meet the 45 degree beams. Take two one meter beams and create a cross at the intersection of the top of the vertical post. Then switch to 26 degree beams and install them from the center so you get this little pattern here. Then go back to 26 degree beams and snap them from the very tip of the nose so that the ends overhang the cross at the end like you're seeing here. Select the 26 degree cross member and snap it using your cursor on the top of the vertical post. Then switch over to 26 degree beams and start face mounting from the beam you're seeing here, making sure that the corners don't protrude too much from the top of the nose structure. This next step is not overly important. This is just me filling in the eyes. If you don't put the blocks that you see me place after, like this one here, you can actually put torches in, in place of these blocks so that the flame is visible through the eyes. But you can skip this step. I'm using 26 degree beams and I'm holding shift and snapping them on the top of this last beam that creates sort of the cheek or the whiskers, making sure that they, the end sticks very close to the beam that they follow. And the reason for this is it creates the nose detail at the end. There's just enough overhang to be able to stick this one meter beam in there while holding shift to create more of a squared nose look. 
I use a one meter post holding shift and tucking it up inside this area here to create sort of a septum look for the nose. Here I'm just using 26 degree beams face mounted along the side of the eyes to build up the side of the face. Then I switch to 45 degree beams and I start by face mounting it off of the post here. This will just create a kind of an angled chin pattern. I'm rotating and snapping to the end of these beams to create a flared out chin. Then I mount uh, two meter beams along the backside, making sure that they run um, along the same direction as the face is pointing. Then I go back to 45 degree beams and I start creating more of a chin profile or a jaw profile. surface mount the same beams on top just to fill in the gaps. Here I'm using one meter posts to create a sort of chin hair look on the end of the chin. Next little bit is just me filling in the face features like the cheeks and whatnot. You can surface mount a lot of the stuff to build out the face. Just follow the video along and pause it if you need to. In this next part I deal with building the mane, but before I get into that I'll show you how to add torches to make glowing eyes. So here I face mounted a 2 meter beam and placed the torches on top, but I found out later on that after building the mane it impeded the top of the torches and they wouldn't work. So my suggestion is to maybe build out the beam a little further so the torches sit back into the head a little further, but from here on out it's about building the main. This is pretty much 100% freestyle building. There is no set guide or way to do this. I wouldn't be able to give you a tutorial on how to do this even if I tried. It's all random. So do your best. Make sure to, you know, don't be too aggressive with it. But, you know, use your 26s, your 45s, even verticals and flats. And try to get something that resembles the main of a lion. Thank you. 
To finish everything off, I just go around and add smaller details. I'll use 45 degree beams and mount them to the edges of the lips here just to give the nose a little bit more of a triangular look and have the face get a little bit more depth. But for the most part everything here is just additional detail. It doesn't really need to be explained. You can just follow along and pause where needed. And that's it guys, that's how you create a line head. Uh, if you don't want to build this in vanilla and you actually want to download the vBuild file, the link will be in the description. But other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm hoping to see line heads pop up everywhere. And if you wouldn't mind, go back to my channel and hit subscribe. I'm always updating content and the more subscribers and and interactions I get, the more drive I have to make videos like this for you guys and create more cool builds. But yeah, if uh, you enjoyed this video, like, comment, and subscribe. And uh, as usual, this is another Build by Ghost.